And the THAAD controversy is back following U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's recent visit to Seoul. The South Korean government, however, reaffirms that there were no official talks on deploying the American missile defense system to the peninsula. Our Nayeon Gyeong has more. So you have to be prepared for every eventuality, which is why we redeployed some ships and forces and why we're talking about that and other things today. Those remarks by Secretary of State John Kerry reignited the question of whether Washington will put the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense or THAAD battery on South Korean soil to counter the threat of ballistic missiles coming from the north. U.S. officials have said they're discussing the possibility internally. China and Russia have expressed strong resistance because they feel that will threaten regional security, while Seoul remains sandwiched between Washington and Beijing. Following Kerry's comments, officials at Seoul's foreign ministry said his remarks were simply meant to stress the seriousness of North Korea's nuclear and missile provocations. Seoul's defense ministry echoed that stance. We've promised to make the process of this potential deal transparent, so if there are any developments, we will let the press know. Some experts say both countries deny official talks because the U.S. is not quite ready. I think it's because Washington hasn't made up its mind yet. The U.S. needs to prepare for possible provocations from the North, but it also needs to form public opinion within the U.S. and take care of Congress' support. Watchers say the controversy will not go away easily. Some even say it's only a matter of time before South Korea and the U.S. sit down for THAAD negotiations. Nai Hyun-kyung, Arirang News.